Good day, everyone. I hope you will be safe and healthy from coronavirus. The title of our work is What's in a Name? Effects of Category Labels on the Consumer's Acceptance of Robotic Products. Please note that I'll call domestic robots as robotic products throughout the presentation. I am one of the people who enthusiastically expect and wish for Jibo's success in market. But we had faced with the sad news that Jibo failed to penetrate the market. And this was not only for Jibo. Baxter from Rethink Robotics, Curie from Mayfield Robotics, and Cosmo from Enki went the way of Jibo. Unlike social robots, smart speakers, which provide similar functionalities to what social robots offer, such as management of various services from applications and IoT devices and communicative functionalities, have been successfully adopted by consumers. What will be the factors which lead to the failures of social robots in market? In the Gospels, Jesus is called or calls himself by two different names, Son of God and Son of Man. And he preferred to be called as Son of Man rather than Son of God. Considering his intention to come down to the world, his preference may have been formulated because he thought this would help people's acceptance toward him. Like this, we could find the differences in naming between social robots and smart speakers. Thus, among various possible factors, in this study, we focused on the naming of the robotic products, how they were labeled when they were introduced in the market. We assert that the reduced acceptance of robotic products is in part due to the difficulty of consumers in perceiving certain level of consumer value in them. We assume that category labels play a crucial role in the formation of consumer value. The category label robots, along with its connotations derived mostly from sci-fi movies and novels, may have negative impact on the consumer's value perception. Previously, researchers in human-robot interaction investigated various factors that affect consumers' acceptance of robotic products including human factors such as age and gender, and robot factors such as appearance and personality. However, to our knowledge, this study is the first attempt to the question of how the category label affects consumers' acceptance. Let me start with consumer value. It is the preferential judgment of a consumer resulting from the interaction between his or her subjective thoughts and their experiences of the product. According to the theory of reasoned action, consumers evaluate products based on their knowledge and beliefs regarding the attributes of the product. And their prior knowledge and beliefs of product category under which the consumer places the product are used for the evaluation of new product. And category label is one of the most influential methods marketers can use to guide consumers about the categorization of the product. That is, we assert that the category label affects consumers' value perception based on the knowledge and beliefs of the product category, resulting the level of consumer acceptance of the product. As for the robotic products, it is very natural to come up with a label including the word robots, such as social robots or entertainment robots. However, the meaning of the word is inarguably shaped by cultural aspects, such as sci-fi novels and movies. Thus, we assume that, upon reading or hearing the word robot, consumers will think of images and concepts that are constructed around their experiences from these mediums, such as helpful assistants, humanoids that walk and run like humans, and even machines that threaten mankind. Because these connotations are atypical of consumer products and have few correspondences with utilitarian value the products provide, the word robot may not help consumers in perceiving the value of the products. 
In contrast, an existing product category, such as home appliances, may emphasize the aspects related to consumer value, such as usefulness and functionality. For example, it may provide basic beliefs toward the attributes regarding how well it performs a designated functionality or how well the warranty is. Thus, we hypothesized that the existing category label will help consumers to perceive more value and in turn higher acceptance of robotic products than robots category label. We also predicted that consumer value would mediate the effect of category label on the consumer acceptance. We conducted an experiment by randomly assigning 46 participants to one of the conditions. They read the online leaflet as shown and answered for the questionnaires, including product evaluation, purchase intention, and perceived value. All of the results supported the hypothesis. Participants in the existing category label condition perceived higher product value than those in the robots category label condition. They also showed higher evaluation and purchase intention than those in robots label condition. And perceived value mediated the effect of category label on the acceptance of robotic products. We asked participants of their thoughts upon reading or hearing the word robot. We could code their answers into one of the seven categories. The results show that the word robot is imbued with various connotations that are not common as consumer products, such as threatening humanoids and movies. The results show that marketing factors such as pricing, positioning, and communication strategies should be considered in studying user acceptance of robotic products alongside human and robot factors that most of the previous studies investigated for. The results show that consumer value plays a crucial role in consumers' adoption process of robotic products. In practical perspective, category labels that can explicitly tell consumers about their product value might be more helpful than labels focused on the fact that the product has robotic attributes. Some of the robotic products that have struggled with their sales or the future products might be helped with this. For example, rather than using the label social robots, use of the labels such as household managers or assistants could have helped boost Zeebo's sales. When consumers can successfully perceive the values, the robots category may positively affect consumer acceptance. For example, iRobot's Roomba can be categorized as a vacuum cleaner, making it easy for consumers to perceive its core value. In this case, the label robots may provide additional information about its autonomous features, and the words connotations of futuristic and high-tech may positively impact attitudes toward the product. In the future, it also needs to be verified that how the word robot is used as a modifier or a hat affects the consumer acceptance. Also, robotic products providing hedonic values rather than utilitarian values, the robot's label may be positively affect consumer acceptance. Please note that because the participants of the study were recruited in South Korea, the results of the study cannot be generalized across cultural differences. And the effect of individual differences also need to be studied in the future. With the collaboration of marketing researcher and HRI researchers, both from design and engineering perspectives, we believe that this work is a quintessential example of interdisciplinary nature in HRI, and this type of study should be encouraged further. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.